Residents are back in in about a dozen homes after a gas line rupture. Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox looks at the scene. This is just west of Highway K and Fox 2's Patrick Clark is there live with how all of this happened and why it seems to be an ongoing problem there, Patrick. Yeah, that's right, Mandy. You might remember it was earlier this year in March when a home exploded. This was in the Miller's Court subdivision just a few miles down the road from where we are here in this O'Fallon neighborhood. In that case, a home exploded. No one was injured. Today, no homes exploded and no one injured. And residents back in their homes now as they try and determine what that gas leak was caused by earlier today. Monday afternoon around 1 p.m. O'Fallon Fire and Police called to the 200 block of Sunshine Drive for a gas leak. Bomarito Automotive Group Skyfox over the scene as 12 homes are evacuated for safety measures. Just shy of 1 o'clock we had a call. We had a truck respond out here for outside gas leak. We were told in route that a construction company had hit a, a line out in the yard. But right now uh, our crew, along with Spire, was going into the homes and double checking on the on the levels of, of gas in the homes. Spire says the cause is undetermined, working alongside the O'Fallon Fire Protection District to figure out what exactly happened. One neighbor tells Fox 2 this is the third time for a gas break in his O'Fallon neighborhood in the last year. And I'm sure they don't want to do it any more than we want to have it happen, so it's not like they're doing it on purpose. But the, there's obviously a problem in the markings. Because if the markings are right, there shouldn't be any breach that should happen. But uh, looks like we're going to get back in, though. By late afternoon, residents back in their homes and crews working to get some answers. Well, we've been told by a few neighbors who did not want to go on camera that a company that was boring to lay fiber cables is behind this gas break. Now, still no determination yet from Spire and O'Fallon Fire Protection District. That could take a few days. In O'Fallon, Missouri, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.